Hello, this is Jack from teachingeslonline.com. Now, today you're going to learn all about lead pages sites, and I'm going to go through building various different types of websites, or at least a couple, using lead pages. And this is for anybody who wants to build a website that is going to help them convert their visitors, that is actually going to move their business forward. And it's mainly for people who offer services but it can be used for anyone as well. And you're gonna see lots of different examples when we come to the templates. So we're gonna look at the pricing, have a look at the templates. I'm gonna talk about Calendly and why you might want to integrate that as well. We're gonna look at how to build a opt-in page and what a landing page is. And then I've got some stats to share with you from a landing page that I built using lead pages. And those results are quite revealing. So firstly, pricing. There are various packages you can get. You can get the starter plan at $15 a month annually, or monthly, it is $19 a month. And this is the simple way to get started where you get your own website. If you go on the annual plan, you get the free custom domain, but you can always get a domain elsewhere, like at GoDaddy. You can have unlimited traffic and leads. We'll talk about what that means in a second. Mobile responsive site templates. Everything is mobile responsive these days. Notifications, so when somebody takes action on your site, you're gonna get a notification. Tech support, which is great, and group coaching. Now, before we move on to a template and what that looks like, just scroll up here because these are the, the main options when it comes to lead pages. And lead pages started out as a landing page builder, but has grown into much more than that. But if you go on the standard plan, the biggest difference is that you're also going to get landing pages, pop-ups, and alert bars. And the example I'm going to give you later will give you a good idea of whether this is for you or not. So if we just go onto the template, so I've been a customer of lead pages for a long time, since 2013, maybe longer. And I've used it to build landing pages, pop-up bars. I haven't used it to build my own website because I already had a website. But if you're just starting out and you're thinking about a simple way to get started, then this is going to be a good option. And I'll just say at this point, there is an affiliate link in the description if you want to join lead pages. I'd be very grateful if you use that link to sign up. So looking at these templates, what I notice is they're, they're mainly service-based businesses, local small businesses or online teaching and service businesses. So we have stuff for, or templates for lawn care, we have it for construction companies, real estate companies, yoga teachers. We, If you go down here, I saw one before for tax, um, I guess like attorneys and CPAs, restaurants, personal trainers. I mean, there's, there's a lot going on here, but it's mainly small business templates. Now, if you are an online service provider, there are two templates that I found before I think you should check out. The first one is the rhythm one here. And then there's also the photography one, which is here, lens photography. There's probably an, another couple that I've missed when I had the initial look, but let's just start with this one because I feel that this one can be used for a lot of people who offer services. And what we're going to do now is just check this out and see how easy it is to change things, and also why you should focus on one main thing, okay? One main thing, and that's what lead pages sites and lead pages in general does really well. So this is just a preview of what it looks like. You can have a play around with it, go onto the different pages on this website, um, but let's just go and use this template, and then I'll show you how you can modify it in a way that is going to benefit you. So firstly, we'll just call it uh, service example. You see, I've already done this before. Three. And if we go into here, it's going to show you exactly how to change this. Now, lead pages sites, it's template based, it's drag and drop, it's easy to use. Everything you see here can be modified. And I'll just show you a quick example. So here's a logo. You could just simply edit your logo or just delete this. You can put a text box up here with the name of your website. Down here, the hero area, the most important part of a website, you can click on this and um, edit this. You can change that picture over here. 
you can change this text. So I'll just show you. Um, online, online teaching for you, All right? And it's changed the size of it, but we can increase this. We can do um, jumbo text header one. We can then bring that down a little bit. We can make it center it. All of this is just very easy to, to modify. Now, when it comes to lead pages sites, you can either have different pages like this, or you can have it all on one page. And I'll just show you a little bit what that looks like. So if we go into the pages section, this is the navigation, the menu bar, and you can change this around. So that's gonna change it places, then people change it back. You can see how that changes. Now with this, I won't worry too much about lots of different pages. What you want to do is focus on the action that people are going to take. And you can treat your home page more or less like a landing page. So just to give a couple of examples, let's say this is a photography business. People coming on a photography website, they want to see pictures, they want to see who the photographer is, they want to see some type of social proof, which means they want to see reviews or people liking their Facebook page, etc. And then they want to easily take action. So the action part is what a lot of people miss out on or don't get right when they first build their website. They'll give information overload, but they won't set it up so that people take action. And I'm just gonna give you example, an example of this now. So bookers here, this is something that you need to get across if you're a photographer. But let's just say you are an online language teacher and a lot of people watching this will be. You can think about what it is you want, what the action is you want people to take when they come on your website. So you need to convince them to take that action, but then make it easy for them to do that. And I've been hovering over here, you're probably getting frustrated. If I say add a click event, this is where the good stuff happens. And these are the different things that we can do. So you can open a pop-up, which just means opening up a form so people can enter their details and you receive those details. You can open a Calendly pop-up, we'll come back to this, to a site page. So you can link to a page on your website through this action, to a page section, which just means a section of that homepage, link to a landing page, which we'll look at later, or link to an external URL. Now, I'm gonna show you this option because I think it's really cool. Calendly pop-up. If I go to this Calendly calendar, it's very hard to say, and I copy and paste the URL, which you can't see me copying right now. And I paste it in here, watch what happens. If I save it, count this button click as a page conversion, that's for your data. You can decide to do that or not. But what I want to do is just click preview and see what happens when that button is clicked. So it's just saving and it's going to create this preview. Here it is. So now you're using your site just like it would be live. And just to note here, there are different options at the top. You can look at it as a tablet or as a phone. And a good reason to do that is because you'll notice that big button at the top doesn't show on a phone. It doesn't show on a tablet, but this button becomes more prominent. So just going back to desktop, if I now click bookers, watch this. It pops up a calendar to book your time and date to take a lesson with you, to book a consultation, to take a free, tr free trial lesson, to book a lesson and pay money for it. And you can take payments through Calendly, through Lee Pages if you're on the right plan, or through something else. Just to keep it simple, imagine that this is just a trial lesson, a 15 minute trial. People can then book it on the 15th at 10.30 a.m., confirm, enter your e email address, don't use that email, and then schedule event. And if you have the Calendly account, then it will give you a notification that someone has done that. This is a very easy way to get started. Now, when it comes to this as well, you need to just think about briefly, and this isn't a guide to creating the best website ever. I'm not gonna go into detail here. I have some links in the resources for you. But 
Think about how you can entice people to take action through your words, through pictures, through video. And if I exit this preview, you might want to think about extending this page a bit. And you can do it however you want to do it. For example, you can drag, drag the video widget and there's not room for it here. It's just going to go in the footer. So this is where you might have to change the layout and add extra parts of the layout. Okay, add a section. Um, see if I can do this quickly. Section's already there. Go to the widget, get the video. All right, boom, video in there. I just said boom. And this is where you can then just edit it and down here, paste the embed code from YouTube, Vimeo or your media provider. So you can embed any type of video there. And then you just need to think about, okay, what can I put in a video that's going to entice people to take that initial action? So let's just say now we're happy with this website and we want to publish it. Well, here are the options. You can publish it on your lead pages URL. I wouldn't do that because personally in my account, because I use it on two brands. I use this for landing pages mainly. What you can do instead is manage existing domains and add new ones here. Now I'm not going to go into this in depth, but you can link your domain name from GoDaddy, let's say, to lead pages and publish it on that URL once you make that connection. So that's how you publish it. It's quite straightforward in a way. There are lots of other things to think about, like, you know, your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, and that's something I can't go into. But look into that and talk to someone when you're setting up your first website. Um, do your own research on that. So let's just have a look at the templates again and think about another one. I'll go through this quite quickly. Rhythm was the one I mentioned. Now, this one is, is one where if you click about, it scrolls down. And you scroll back up. And services, it scrolls down. Now, this one is somebody who is a professional life coach and mentor. And you can schedule a session. So that's another way to do it. Just showing you another example of the template. I'm just going to show you one more just to give you a really good idea. Let's say you are a neighborhood service provider, lawn care. This is what they suggest you do. This is your template. Where again, everything is built towards that conversion. Submit here, get a free quote. Um, there are certain things you can do to change this as well, but we, we scroll down, it's got all of this for you. I'd make this more personal. Like This is just the outline of what you can do. You can then use the widgets to add to it. Now I want to talk about lead pages in terms of creating a landing page because we've talked about the website. And if I just go back um, here briefly, the pricing, this is what we're going into now, the landing pages, pop-ups and alert bars. And I'm mainly just going to talk about a landing page. So a landing page is a way for you to generate leads, make sales or something else. Let's say you want to generate leads. This is what I mainly use lead pages for, for this free resource. So let's say you have a website, but you want to create a landing page, not using lead pages sites, but you have a, a website on uh, WordPress, for example, and you want to have a landing page or you use lead pages sites, but you want to create extra landing pages too then that's where you'll need this uh, pro plan or the basic plan. Let's just use this free resource because then it's going to give you some options. Now, what's interesting about this is now pick your favorite high converting layout. There are more templates here, but let's just go with this one and I'll show you very briefly what this does. And then I'm gonna show you an example. Example of landing page. And I've used this template before to create my own landing page for it. And I'm going to share the results of that. Again, it's just a matter of editing that image, changing that image, changing this here, changing this here, maybe changing the background and the colors. It doesn't take long. But what I can show you is if we preview this, with lead pages, they're big on, and I am as well, on the click the button to then bring this up. This has been proven to increase opt-in rates. 
to increase conversions, let's say. And this is where you can integrate, if I exit the preview, integrate lead pages with your email service provider. And I'm not gonna go into depth here. Um, I do have a tutorial on this in the email marketing guide. So if you want to learn about this, get that guide, uh, it's free. It's a video training course that you can go through. So you can edit this here so that when people enter their details, it sends that information to your email service provider and then you can create automations to then send out emails to give them the free guide and to follow up on that. Or you can just simply send the free guide and add them to your email list to send them more information at a later date. Now, notice this, this template. This is what I did with it a few months ago where I changed the background image, changed the colors. It's more in line with my brand. Here's the, the free PDF guide that I put together. And then if you subscribe, it comes up, where should we send your free guide? And I just used their basic template. It worked really well. So that's what I did with this one. And here are the results. So we got, I say we, I got 628 visitors, 309 conversions, and it converted at 49%. So almost 50% of people who came onto this page got the free guide, which is a great result. And I know that these types of landing pages work because I've A-B tested them so much over the years. Okay, so that's given you an overview of lead pages. And just to go back to the pricing, this is landing pages that we've just talked about. But if you don't feel like you need to use a landing page right now and you just wanna have a website, you can use this plan, but do know it is going to be limited. On the other hand, you can always upgrade. So lead pages are good at letting you upgrade from what I remember anyway. There's one thing that it doesn't do well, okay? And bear this in mind if you're building your website through lead pages. And it is this. How can I blog with lead pages sites? And if you're not quite sure what it means to blog, it means creating articles on your website so that people can find them and enjoy them and read them. So if you are a language teacher and you want to start creating content on your own website, you can create a blog with lesson ideas, lesson plans, helping people with their grammar, anything really. It doesn't do this well, but there are solutions to it. It says here, if you blog once a month or less frequently, when adding a site page, use a blog page type within the site builder and hide those pages from navigation. So basically what you're doing is you're creating a new page and then you can add those new pages to the blog. But it doesn't seem like lead pages are confident about having lots and lots and lots of blogs on that website. The other way to do it is if you blog more than two to three times a month, set up a WordPress blog on a subdomain of a domain you have connected to your own web host. Let me just try and break that down. So let's say your website is, and I'm terrible at naming, but it is rhythm.com or rhythmonlinecoaching.com. You can then have blog.rhythmonlinecoaching.com as your WordPress installation. So this is when it starts to get a little bit more technical. That's, when you, that's something you have to bear in mind when it comes to blogging. So you would have to do something like this in order to set it up. They also in the past talked about how you can use Medium and then embed Medium on the website on one of your pages. So then the blog is showing in that way. So there are other ways to do it too. So if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, please like and share it. And then also if you're considering lead pages, there is a link in the description for you. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.